The book of Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39. From verse 1 to 6. Genesis chapter 39. From verse 1 to 6. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian brought him bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master. He was prosperous, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that he did my goodness to prosper in his hands and Joseph found favor or grace in his sight and he served him and he made him overseer over his house and all that he had put into his hands Verse 5, and it came to pass from the time that he made him overseer in his house and over all he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. And he knew not all he had save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a godly person and well favored. The book of Psalms chapter 102. Psalms chapter 102. Those of you that are in covenant with Psalm 12, don't forget your covenant. The covenant is not 110, 111, it's 112. Psalm 102 from verse 12. Psalm 102 from verse 12. For thou, O Lord, shall endure forever, and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise. And have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yes. The set time. Has come. Holy Spirit of God. Speak like only you can. Minister like only you can. Bless like only you can. And if you believe for a blessing this morning. Say amen. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. If you believe for a blessing this morning, say amen. amen. If you believe for a blessing this morning, say amen. amen. This morning I'm speaking on the subject, God's agents. God agent. Every government has what we call the secret service. Every government have what we call the secret service. And most of the secret service are what we call government agents. They are a means to get back information back to heaven or back to the government. The same way the kingdom of God, God when he wants to bless, has different agents in which he uses. Somebody say, I'm here. He has different kinds of agents. When God wants to touch a life, when God wants to do something extraordinary, God uses, give me some bass here, please. God uses agents. There are different kinds of agents. 
But this morning, there is an agent that is here this morning. There is one agent for me. There is one agent for me, I believe, among God's, amongst God's agents. This agent is God's favorite. The reason why I say this agent is God's favorite, or this agent is our favorite, is that when this agent is operational, it does not need human endeavor. Oh, you didn't hear that? When this agent is operational, it does not need human endeavor. Number two, it does not need human approval before this agent goes to work. And this agent is totally, totally, 100% God. Oh, I'm coming somewhere. This agent is 100% what? 100% God. God is in charge of this agent. God uses this agent for his own purpose. The name of this agent is called favor. The name of this agent is called what? It's called favor. Favor is an agent in which God uses to do signs and wonders. And the thing about this agent, like I said, it does not need a human contribution. He does not need human approval. The agent of favor. Now hear this. I'm going to show you some few things that this agent does in his own secret ways. And hear me. The reason why I'm preaching some last week or last, somewhere last week, I had a whisper from heaven. Do you know how we write messages? You write a message by prompting. Most times your messages are not written because you read the Bible. Your messages, if you're a pastor, a real man of God, your messages are, are, are given to you by whisper. God triggers a thought. As he triggers a thought, the thought that God is triggering in your spirit is an information from heaven of what God is planning. Am I talking to somebody? I know you people are used to seeing me there, so I want to resist it today. And see that all things are possible. So I'm battling with myself and that floor there. Because it's easier for me to be there. But I said, if I go there, I will leave here by 2 o'clock. So let me stay here. This morning, <laughs> hallelujah. This morning, I've come to announce that there is a secret agent in this house. I said, there's a secret agent in this house. And you are not going anywhere until you get a visitation from this agent. The name of this agent is... The name of this agent is favor. When God wants to locate a man, when God is looking for somebody, God sends favor. Ah, oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. When God is trying to find somebody to bless, God will send favor to look for that person. This morning I said to you, favor is here to look for you. So when God wants to visit, when God wants to do something extraordinary, when God wants to look for a man, God will use the mystery of favor. Because hear this, hear this, if it is man that is going to look for man, they will not look for you. You don't hear what I'm saying? If it is man that is asked to go and look for somebody, he will look for his brother. 
He will look for his sister. He will look for his uncle. That is why it is God's prerogative that when God wants to look for somebody, a person that does not qualify. Ah, uh, you don't hear what I'm saying. A person that is not qualified. A person that is not known. But when God wants to find somebody, God will send favor. Favor is looking for you today. You don't need to be qualified. You don't, have dec you don't need decrease or decrease. You, you don't need to know somebody. You don't need to know a friend or a brother. You don't need to know a sister. It is heaven that decides this one. It's heaven that decides your case. He said, go to Kempton Park. I have a daughter there. I want to promote my daughter. I have a son there. I want to promote my son. When he wants to send, he says, favor. 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 If God is looking for a man, eh, he doesn't send the man. Mm -mm. Even he wouldn't send the pastor. Eh, because the pastor will be looking for those that give tithes. Eh, and look for those that give offering. Eh, so, but when God wants to bless, he says, favor, you don't discriminate. I want you to go into that crowd. Find me the first five people and let me bless them upside down. Find me some women. Let me bless them upside down. Favor is looking for you today. Favor will find you today. Favor will find you today. He's an agent. I like him. He's a secret agent. And when he shows up, people don't know he is coming. That's the good thing about favor. Because there is nobody that qualifies. If it is qualification, we cannot be here. Oh, no, 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 no. If it is qualification, you must belong to ANC uh, before you can buy a car or have a contract. But God is not moved by that kind of looking. Favor looks, comes to the house. Ah, and he begins to take somebody that is not qualified. He, he takes somebody that nobody knows. He, he takes somebody that does not have a pedigree. Somebody say, I'm here. Somebody shout, I'm here. Ah, when God wants to promote a man, he sends favor. You don't hear what I'm saying. When God wants to promote a man, he sends what? He sends favor. You don't hear what I'm saying. He does not look at your qualification. He does not look at where you come from. Whether you come from Zimbabwe, Malawi, Nigeria, it does not matter to God. When God wants to promote him, he's looking for you this morning. Favor wants to promote you this morning. Favor wants to increase you this morning. Somebody shall fail. Your time for promotion has come. While they are discussing you, they are promoting you. Where they are gossiping you, they are promoting you. Where they are talking nonsense about you, they are promoting you. That is what favor can do. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Receive favor in the name of Jesus. God super agent. His name is favor. When God wants to shame your enemies <laughs> oh, you didn't hear that when god wants to shame your enemies your enemies think you are not supposed to be in that position your enemies have been talking about you you are somewhere very far somewhere under they are trying to compress you they are trying to depress you they're about to close you down. Just like the brothers of Joseph. They sold him into the pit. But when God wanted to disgrace his brothers, he went down to the pit. He said, they must know that I am God. I raised one and I put one down. Somebody said, talk to me, black man. When your enemies need to be put to shame they've talked about you 
they discuss you. They said there is no hope for him. They said there is no favor to him. They said he's not educated enough. They said nobody knows him. God said, that's the one I'm looking for. That's the one I'm looking for. He's an agent. He does not miss. Ah, uh, you don't hear what I'm saying? He does not miss. He does not miss. He does not miss. So, why they are busy discussing? And you visit your village, and you come with BMW Seven Series. Yeah. They say, whose car is this? Uh, he says, my God, I, no, no, we're not sure. You are lying. You can't. You don't qualify. How can you get this kind of car? All your enemies are waiting. They, are no, they know you are coming back, but they thought you are going to come back with a bicycle. They thought you are coming back with a bus. They thought you are coming back with a train. But when you get to the house, you say, bang, 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 bang. The more you are doing pang pang, the more they are coming out. They are coming to see what's happening here. What's happening here? What's happening here? The one that they wanted to kill. The one that they wanted to destroy. The one that they said there was no hope for you. You are doing pang pang. The devil is a liar. When God wants to shame your enemies, favor shows up. When they ask you, hey, how did this happen? You don't have an explanation. Because if you have an explanation, it is your hand that has brought it to you. If you have an explanation, there is something that you would have done that would have qualified you. Anytime they say, how did this happen? Oh, Jesus, me. Jesus, Namanda. Joseph said to his brothers, You wanted me to die, you wanted me to go under. He said to them, But God went before me. Because he wants to save your life. God went before you to preserve your destiny. He showed me favor just because of you. Not because I am worthy. That you might know that there is a God in Israel. Somebody say, please, black man. To analyze Mahalepo Kotusutaya, they will try to discuss uh, every time they discuss, uh, they don't have an answer. Uh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Every time they bring your case, they, they want to define you. Uh, they have PhDs, uh, they have MSCs. Uh, they have master's degree. You have zero degree. But you just built a new house with zero degree. You just married a husband with zero degree. You just bought a car with zero degree. How did he do this? It is called the favor of God. When the favor shows up, your enemies will see. Those that talk about you will see. Those that discuss you will see. Those that did not give you hope will say, somebody shall favor. He's an agent. He's an agent. He's God's agent. God's agent for change. When favor comes, Change comes. You didn't hear me. Huh. When favor shows up, 
Milk had changed. Come, you couldn't buy milk, uh, but you are buying the bigger milk now. You 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 couldn't buy bread, uh, but you are eating out now. You ah, uh, you don't hear me. You we are going one shot, shot. You know you are looking for taxi. Taxi here, shot, shot left, shot right, shot left, shot right. When favor comes, you start with Uno. Why they are talking about Uno? You move to Polo. Why they are talking about Polo? You move to Mercedes. Why they are talking about your Mercedes? You are driving your four by four. Favor brings change. That change is coming to your life. That change is coming to your life. That change is coming to your business. That change is coming to your career. That change is coming to your destiny. Favor brings change. Some of you understand what I'm talking about. When you left Zimbabwe, you went through the back border. You did not even come through the right border. You jumped the fence. But this time you are going back. You are going back with groceries. Groceries in your car. Groceries in your house. Groceries in your bus. Groceries in your four by four. How can this be? It is called the favor of God. I slept on the floor. Eight months. I slept on the floor. Nobody gave me a chance. You don't hear what I'm saying. I moved from house to house. There was no chance for me. You don't hear what I'm saying. Favor brings change in your life. Don't you don't hear me. Favor brings change in your life. I was so broke that the last money I had in my pocket was 20 rand. I needed to buy beef chow chow with 20 rand. I did not know where the next food will come from. I did not know where the next meal will come from until favor showed up. I would, I would see police and I would run away because I didn't have papers. You don't hear what I'm saying. I would run away. Some of you are like me. When police siren, it's like the world is against you. Police come, you take off. Don't worry, that's how I used to take off. And you don't hear what I'm saying. When I was going back to Nigeria, I went with asylum paper to go and get my document. Am I talking to somebody here? What you don't hear? When favor showed up, I said, when favor showed up, when favor showed up, you don't hear me. Am I here to preach to somebody or what? I don't know who is expecting the favor of heaven here. When favor shows up, hear me, let me tell you a story. I went to an Israeli embassy. I was in the Israeli embassy. I wanted to go to America. I gave them documents. They did not even open my documents. They said, where's your work permit? I said, I don't have. They said, pa. I thought they were about to arrest me. I ran away. I ran because there was no paper. I sneaked and I left. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. I ran away. But favor had not showed up. Two years later. Somebody said two years later. I was now in South Africa. And I went to the American embassy in South Africa. When I entered the American embassy, the young man that was supposed to stamp the passport looked at me. He said, Ida, how are you? My goodness. Ida, how are you? An American knows my name. An American knows my name. He says, Ida, how long do you want to stay? I said, me, they're asking me how long. Last time I wanted to run away. Now they're asking me how long. I said, sir. I want to stay just one week. One week? He said, no, just one week. I said, I say one week. Eh. My level has changed. One week? He said, yes. He said, no, we don't want you to come back after one month. Let me give you two years visa. Two years. They stamped me back. He turned around and said, will South Africa, that was that time, so will South Africa host the World Cup? I said, technically, we are qualified to host the World Cup. And I get to America because my brother was trying to arrange for me to come to America. Maybe by now, man of God will be washing cars. 
You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Man of God will be cleaning house and washing cars. That devil is a bastard. But favor has showed up. So when I went to my brother's house, let me tell you a story you want to hear. Then I asked, I need to go to a shop. I need to go buy some clothes. So they took me around and I was walking. They were showing me the shop. That shop was like Akamas. They were showing me the shop. Showing me the shop. And I turned around and looked at my brother. I said, is this America? <laughs> is this America? He said, yes. This. I said, no. That's not what they said. They told us that this is God's own country. This thing you are showing me is in South Africa, in Hebrew. This thing you are showing me here is in Maryland. Then he looked at me and said, what kind of clothes are you having? I said, the one they write Jumping Hong. The one they write Gucci. The one they write John Paul. He says, is that where you want to? I said, that's where I want to go. Now he took me to a mall. They, they, they call it a marinade or something. When I entered there, Holy Ghost fire. I saw John Paul. I saw Gucci. I saw this and that. I looked at my brother. I said, please leave me here. Come back for me two, two hours later. Come back for me two hours later. Because my story has changed. I don't know whom I'm preaching to today. Favor is coming upon you. Favor is coming upon your family. Favor is coming upon your home. Favor is coming upon your life. Somebody shall favor. Let me preach this thing. Am I talking to somebody? When favor shows up, favor brings you to the right people. It brings you to the what? Right people. Right people. There are people that you meet. They are more problem than uh, that Osama bin Laden. Uh, but when favor is on your head, when I started ministry, I used to have a business card. I used to have Christ Ambassador's Church due time ministry. Every time I see a big man, a big pastor, I will give them my card. But me, I know they will not call me back. Why would they call you back? Hear this. Water has levels. Don't be angry that your uncle is not calling you. Don't be angry that your old friend is not calling you. The problem is that your friend left you long time. Uh, don't jealous your friend. Don't talk evil against your friend. All you need to ask God is to lift you to the level of your friend. <laughs> Don't complain. Some of you complain a lot. My uncle is not doing this. My auntie is not doing this. My friends are, are not doing this. That devil is a lie. Let the favor of God come on, come on you. Once the favor of God come on you, people will come to introduce themselves to you. They say, don't you know me? I am the premier. You don't hear what I'm saying. You don't hear what I'm saying. So two, three years ago, I drove to Polokwane. When I drove to Polokwane, I met a young man. He said, let's go and have lunch. I said, I'm busy. He said, no. With the mayor of Polokwane. I said, I will go. <laughs> don't come and waste my time. Food is not my problem. Am I talking to somebody? I can eat food anywhere, but there's a food you eat with mayo that is different. Ah, you don't hear what I'm saying? I said, I will eat, I will eat, I will eat. We went to the mayor's place. As I entered the place, he looked at me. Ah, it's you. I said, who else? He said, e I that Peter said, call me whatever you want to call me, I will answer. But I'm inside already. They said, bring food for them, let them eat. He said, this is my number, call me anytime. Years ago, I used to give them my card. And once they get my card, they drop my card. Now, when you get my card, you put my card inside. Because we are floating at the same level. Favor takes you to a level where no man can take you. Favor takes you to a level where you can meet with people. Favor takes you to a level where those that can solve your problems are waiting for you. It changes your level. It brings you before right favor. I went to preach somewhere in Abuja. 
When I finished preaching, I've told you the story before. Forgive me if I repeat it. It's the cause of the favor of my life. Am I talking to somebody? I went to preach somewhere in Abuja. And I finished preaching. The power of God was flowing like water. Flow like water. After I finished preaching, a young lady walked up to me. How are you, sir? I said, I'm cool. I'm good. With this kind of anointing, can I say I'm, I'm bad? I said, no, I'm good. He said, you need to meet someone. I said, I don't have time. He said, no, you really need to meet this person. I, I said, I don't have time. We don't want to listen to me. It's not arrogance. You listen to me. There are people that don't want to see you because they don't have to see you. When they see you, you are a problem. No big man, no wealthy man likes problem. Don't, no, don't complain about them. Raise your game. Lock yourself. Ask God to visit you. Am I talking to somebody? He said, you must meet this man. I said, I don't have time. I left this lady. She went and reported to the pastor that invited me. He said he will not come. So the pastor came to me and said, sir, you need to follow her. I said, I'm not going. I don't have time. I'm busy. He said, you need to go. But I cannot tell you where you're going, but please, you need to go. Trust me on this. I said, okay. So the woman said, I'm going to send a police officer and a car. Look, I like that. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Don't tell me to enter Uber or enter taxi. That devil is a liar. So in the next few, the, the reception, they called my room. Ting, 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 ting. I said, hello, who am I speaking to? He said, there are people downstairs to pick you. I said, just give me five minutes. Well, in that five minutes, you are doing nothing. You just sit down. Because if you rush out, they think you're in a hurry. Ah, what favor? Well, favor, favor, favor makes you look like you're arrogant. Uh, but you are not arrogant. It's just, it, it's just how it is. Am I talking to somebody? It's just how it is. I said, give me five minutes. I stayed in the room for the next hour. I was looking at my time. I was looking at my time. As I came downstairs, the lift opened. I saw some people come to the lift. You're welcome, sir. Can we go, sir? I said, yeah. Is everything okay? Is everything is okay? And where is the car parked, please? He said, the car they brought. You know that there's a car they parked by the park. Then there's one they put by in front of the hotel. That's, that's the place that my car was waiting for me. As I just came out of the car, they opened the car. I said, something is going to happen here today. <laughs> Somebody shall favor. No, some years ago, nobody opened car for me. Some years ago, I was jumping into the bus and jumping into the truck. They would tell me, come quickly. If you don't come, we'll leave you and go. Then they stepped the car. I entered. The young man said, sir, the lady said, you have to come to the house first. I said, okay. Okay. Then the drive, the lady was married to a white, a, 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 a Palestinian. If you see house, uh, but I needed to control myself like I'm used to things like this. You understand? You don't know what I'm talking about. Have you ever seen a house where the carpet is white? I entered, I said, Jesus. But I'm an anointed man of God with favor. So they cannot see anything. I just moved in. I just moved in. The husband came. The children came. You're welcome, sir. 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 I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. When I entered, they set a table before me. You know what I mean? They set a table before you. They don't know what you want to eat. So they made everything available. They don't know what you want to eat. They have everything ready. I hope, they, I hope everything is ready. You don't answer like you know what you're doing. That's okay. I just have a little. Uh, you're looking at the food. In your heart, you say, God, let me do take away here. My goodness. Let me do take away here. Let me do takeaway. So I entered the place. I'm about to close. I'm about to close. 
I entered the place. They said, can you eat? I took a little bit here, took a little bit, took a little bit. Then the lady said, let's go. Let's go. I said, let's go. Oh, this is not the place. He said, let's go. They opened the cars. Now they changed the car. They changed that uh, car. Then they brought the four by four. The big one. He said, please enter, sir. I enter. Police enter. She enter. We are driving. As we are, as we are going, I saw a sign. I saw rock. Asso Rock is where the president is. And we're driving. Everybody in the gate is saying, welcome, madam. Welcome, madam. Welcome, madam. Welcome, madam. Okay. Welcome, madam. We're driving. She said, please, sir, can you just sit a little bit in the car? I said, I will sit, though. I'm here already. Then she goes inside. Car, come, sir. He will see you now. They open the car. They said, please put your phones here. I put my phone. Then some people just rush. They rush out of the room. As they rush out of the room, they say, please come in, sir. I entered. My president was sitting there. <laughs> sitting down. Somebody say favor. Yeah. They're not saying, I said, somebody say favor. Yeah. The story is not over. When I entered the president's room, he looked at me. He said, ah, this is Ida. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? So favor has carried me to this place. Somebody's life is about to change today. Your destiny is about to change today. I come in the name of Jesus. I say receive favor in the name of Jesus. 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 God bless you.